Hello everyone, welcome back to Crafting with Janine, and I just bumped my camera, so sorry about that. Um, today's video, I should have unboxed, but I got super excited when they came in the mail to open it, so I kind of opened the box already. But I'm going to show you guys these really cool things that I got from Hippie Crafters. Uh, hit me up, wanted to see if I wanted to try out some of their stuff, so I said okay, and I wanted to try these ones. I was really excited to try the acrylic paints at 20 colors in a set. I will leave a link to the website and her Amazon in the description below. Um, but I really wanted to check these things out. The first thing I'm really excited to show you because I was, my interest was piqued when I saw these. They're paint and art wipes. And I know most of us use baby wipes or use the Clorox wipes or whatever. But I just wanted to check these out and see because it says it says right here on the back that it can be used to clean up hands, wet oil, uh, acrylic paint droplets, brushes, canvases, adhesives, tray liners, epoxy, grime, and more. And all that other stuff. And I was really excited. So when I opened these bad boys up, I was super impressed. So... You open them up and it's just kind of like all your other ones like this. You got to pull up from the middle. But here is what has me super excited about these. Is they are totally different than baby wipes. They've got like this like rough spot here. And even the, uh, the compound of the soap or whatever it is on it. But oh my god. Is this stuff like just at first glance. Like... It's getting the grime off my little glass board here. And that's just the... Most of it. Some of my dried glues and stuff like that. But I could just... Where I'd have to scrape. And that is... Like, I'm so happy. And... I can only imagine how well it gets, like, epoxy off your hands because of the, uh... These little blue deals are like little scrubbies. So impressed with this, and I will most likely be buying more of these. And they're decent size wipes. Um, let me see. I got a paintbrush here that I just used for paint, but like it cleans off. Like, I mean, I'm super, super impressed with this, these wipes. Like, oh my god. Like, wow. That That's all I have to say is wow on the wipes. So, so glad that I got those. And then the other thing was the acrylic paint set. I use acrylic paint for a lot of things, and especially in my tumbler making. I like to mix my acrylic paints with a homemade thinner that I have and I will show you how to do that for my airbrush because um, a lot of times I will airbrush my tumblers especially if I want like a colored base to go under a glitter because spray paint takes up a lot of space number one the cans they and if you're working in a small space like I am if you guys actually saw this little area that I have to work on to work on my cups is not a very big one. Um, so, space is always an issue. And what I like about the acrylic paints is that they don't take up that much space. This is 20 of them. And that's about the space that 20 take up. So, I love them. And I, like I said, I like to mix them with a thinner for my airbrush paints. And... They need to be like a certain type. Like I've tried a couple ones and my go-to before was the uh, folk art. But when I saw these and she wanted me to try them, so I thought I'd try them. And at first glance, they're almost like if you get like the professional tube acrylic paints, which are those ones are really good, but they're super expensive. And these... Um, I don't remember what the whole set cost for the um, the acrylic paints, but I will leave the links in the description below for those. Um, but they come out nice and thick, and they they spread 
very nicely. Like, even if I were to not use this as an airbrush and I were to do a paint coat, like, I don't think it would need much to coat the tumbler for that, like, very light brush strokes. I, should, I wouldn't need to go over too many times like I would with other ones because this one is a nice, thick, and sturdy paint. And it is, it's professional grade is what they say on it. Ultra pigmented, can be used indoor, outdoor. It is water-based, so it is water cleanup. But um, I'm impressed with the paints as well. I, so far, have no complaints. So now I'm thinking I'm going to be going back to her and placing an order for a couple other things that I did want to try. Because uh, they do have their own brand of epoxy. Which, I'm always up for trying something new. Uh, I do have an epoxy that I really do like. Uh, but, hey, if I try something new and it's even better than what I have, I would make the switch. Um, that and their, her transfer tape, I really want to try that because I'm, I have yet to find one that I like. So, I'm going to try that one next. So, keep an eye out for those ones. Again, the company is Hippie Crafters. Super great and great customer service, all of that. I will leave all the links in the description below so you guys can go check it out. But definitely, you guys should try out these paint and art wipes because I was blown away. I did not expect them to be like that. I was expecting something like a Clorox or a baby wipe, and that is way better than both. So, super impressed with those, and I'm going to be doing... A video showing how I do the airbrush and this with the airbrush. So I'm really excited to try those in my airbrush. And see how they cover and mix up and everything. And then shoot through my airbrush. Because there's a vis viscosity. Yeah, there we go. That you need for airbrush. It can't be too thin, can't be too thick. Gotta have it just right. So I'm gonna do that one here soon. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And don't forget to hit the thumbs up. And go check out Hippie Crafters. Um, and don't forget to subscribe and hit that little bell notification because I am not your most regimented uploader. So I, you won't know every, the days I post, but if you hit that little bell and subscribe, you'll get a notification every time I do upload. So you, you catch it right away. So again, don't forget to subscribe and go check out Hippie Crafters. And as always, happy crafting.